Hello my fellow hunters. If you have seen my last videos, I've done the switch axe morph for the Almutron Water Axe and for the Barry of Switch Axe, also for all the raw weapons for Monsanto Rise, all the famous raw weapons. And today I gonna talk about the Rajang Switch X. I gonna do the morph for the Sinogre Switch X later, but today first I'm showing you the morph and then I show you my set and how to um, craft this armor pots, whatever. And for gameplay, I've up I gonna uploading some speedruns. You also maybe have seen some like Diablos with 450 or so, but I forgot to eat to fill in a booster, so I maybe there's some more potential. Okay, we go to the training area, and during the loading screen, like every other time, I'm gonna show you the table. Um, you can see here my complete table. Sorry. Okay, I think most of you know this web page and i think the first thing we're gonna do is i've tested them off with no armor pods first of all also for the base weapons but with the strength petalis okay we go to charm and filter that we have no charm equipped okay let's put out these two tools and we can now see Sorry, I forgot one. Okay, filter again. Nice. The first thing is I want to show you which weapon is the best weapon um, if you have no armor set equipped. If you only have the strength petalace or get general your petalace. No other stuff. No decos, only your weapon. And we can say, okay. Today we talk about the Undying X. Mix it DBS is 118, so I think it's exactly in the middle. We have X Semper Tyrannus is the worst switch X if you haven't got any set or whatever. And yes. Now go to the end DBS. And okay, we can say also without any armor parts or whatever, it's going to be in the middle. But in the end state, it's pretty good in comparison to mixed DPS. Okay, now we turn that filter off. Okay, and now we only want to talk about the best possible Ryang switch X. So we go to filter and only enable the undying X. So I'm gonna uncheck all these other switch X's here. Okay, yes. Okay, and now filter mix DBS. Okay, I tested four different builds. I tested one build without blood channel, but I showed you in the game that uh, the Ryan Switch X has a huge amount of green sharpness. You can see it also here. I don't know whether we can reach blue sharpness or whatever, but I've seen a lot of speedrunners using this switch X with blood channel. And I tried out using this switch X without blood channel. And okay. You can see the three or four sets are pretty bad in mixed DPS. And if we go to MTPS. We're gonna say, oh, I'm gonna also unfilter that natural switch X. Okay, we're gonna say an MDPS playing without uh, blood channel is the worst thing you can do. So, on this weapon, the first thing you have to know is that blood channel is absolutely recommended, it's extreme important. Okay, let's gonna filter that other stuff back. Okay, that was one set, but also on that set, I had um, maxed out weakness exploit, maxed out critical boost, and maxed out attack boost. I also tested another set. Um, 
this set. On this set I don't use weakness exploit. I think for some monsters like Ragnar Kadaki it's very efficient uh, not to use weakness exploit because Ragnar Kadaki only has one weakness. It's the head and it's very um, raw when he legs his head on the ground and you can hit on the head. So when you're doing monsters or hunting monsters with horrible hit zones, I recommend playing without weakness exploit. And I tested with the switch axe a critical eye 7, so maxed out critical eye and attack boost. So we doesn't have any place for critical boost, but we started in um, blood channel and maxed out our elemental things and also critical element level 1, but you can see um, yes, in the end state it's pretty good, but mixed DPS is the worst DPS of all switch X builds. But maybe I would say if there is a monster with terrible hit zone values, this set is maybe not bad. Okay, I talked about these two sets, now I'm gonna talk about the third set. The third set is a mix between these two sets. On this set I have uh, Wax 3, max, uh, Critical Boost level 2, Critical Eye level 4, no attack boost, because I wanted to slot in some Critical Eye to get 100% affinity, but with this build we got a pretty bad mixed DPS and also a pretty bad M DPS. And now I'm gonna show you by far, by far the best Switch X build possible for the right Jung weapon. I don't know whether this build is better than with the Sinogre switch X because I need that Sinogre jam and I doesn't got orangey pleasant uh, doesn't bless me with this charm from Sinogre uh, sorry um gem but okay I show you the skills we have on the best possible Rajang switch X build set maxed out weakness exploit critical boost level 2 no critical eye attack boost level 4 Blood Channel maxed out, Rabbit Morph maxed out, Elemental Attack, so Thunder Attack maxed out, and no critical element. You're using the Rabbit Morph Charm level 2 with a 3 to 0 slot, and this gives us 216 mixed DPS, which is absolutely insane in comparison to the other sets, and also the Ants DPS is extreme powerful. Okay, now I'm gonna show you my set. Okay, we're actually in the training area and you can see, okay, with natural stats, this weapon had 210 attack and 26 thunder element, true thunder. Now I'm gonna show you when we have our set equipped, we have 350 thunder with additional 45% if we end state, so maybe it goes up to 500 thunder or whatever and the attack is now 274. I'm gonna show you the armor parts and the decorations. Uh, I'm using these switch skills for overhead slash, finishing discharge and invisible gambit. And uh, now I go to show you my rampage skills. I'm using Thunder Boost 2. I'm showing you that later and the smithy. Yes, here you can see my skills and we're using the Rajang switch axe with a blunt tool 2. The Olmutron Helm S with two attack tools, the Xenogre Mail S with a bolt tool 1, the Barrow of Vampraces S with two bolt tools 1, the Spyro Elytra S with no decos, the Golden Hack Hammer with two bolt tools, and yes, Fatal Tempest Talisman, that Talisman with Rapid Morph 2 with two blunt tools. So you need um, three blunt tools. Two attack tools and the rest is bolt tools. I also gonna put you a link in the description. So now we go to the smithy, go to the village. Yep. Okay, I show you the rampage skills. I doesn't test it the other, but I personally think that Thunder Boost 2 is the best because you got a huge thunder elemental increase and I don't know how good Darling Strike is, but
but I look at uh, requiring materials and you can see okay the the most required materials blah, blah, the most required materials is at Thunderbolts 2 and so I think personally it's the it's the best one okay why not I didn't check that other but for me personally I, it seems to be that Thunderbolts 2 is the second we are playing elemental switch X, so why not okay now I'm gonna show you how to smith this how to forge this weapon we only have to go to the Rajang tree for the first level we need Rajang Horn Plus, Rajang Black Fur, so high rank Rajang stuff and also for the last you need a high recommendation and a Rajang tail. So you have, if you cut the tail from Rajang or you break the tail, you, can, you can't cut it, um, you need two of them and I think you can only get one tail per hunt and the drop chance is 90% for a tail, so you have to broke two um, tails. Yeah. For the Almudron gear you need Almudron high rank stuff. For the Xenogre torso you need a uh, plate from Xenogre, so I wish you luck. Barrel of arms with some bones, ores and barrel of high rank stuff. Spyro Elytra S and the Rajang boots, I think it's obviously you need a beast gem. I have a ton of the beast gems. Okay, that's it. Have fun with the set. I think tomorrow or on another day I'm gonna try out the Sinogra Switch X if I got lucky with the gems. And yes, I'm gonna maybe show you a speedrun with this weapon and see you next time. I forgot to mention one thing. I wanna show you how good is this full build in comparison to a raw DPS build. You know, this build is the best possible DPS build actually for version 1.1.2 with 200 mixed DPS. And now comparing the Undying X. Uh, the Almudron and the Barrier of Switch X is better. The best elemental switch X is for water, the Almutron switch X, then the Ice X for Baryov, and then the Undying X from Rajang. I don't know how good Sinogre is, but you can see 16 DPS more than the best possible raw build and also um, 19 DPS better in amp state in comparison to the best raw set. You can say, okay. So you can say, okay, Elemental Switch X from Rajang is pretty much better than playing Raw.